so confused. Like, I just don't know. And so I got to the point where I asked him, like, do you pray? Like, do, like, because it's like, what, what am I doing that you're not doing? Like, why are we, like, so close in proximity? But your life is, like, so this one way and mine is, like, so this other way. Like, so I'm, like, I think, like, prayer, like, so I, I don't know. So he does have a job. It is a good job. The world has been kind of effed up lately with and inflation. So I, that's why I don't know if it's his fault. I don't know how long I should give him. Like I do have like one homegirl and she's like, dump him, leave him. But I'm like, damn, like. <sighs> Go with the homegirl. All right, that's it, problem solved. <laughs> Go be with the hunger. I don't want you to be with him no more. Just leave. That's it. Over. Like, what? Where did you really come? Do you? It. Like I said, it seems like you just came to the internet. You said you want advice, but you came to the internet to drag this man for filth. That's what you came here for. To expose, to inflate your own ego, so people can say, "Oh my gosh, you're such a good person. Oh, you're so amazing. Oh." He's so, um, you know, lucky to have you. Oh, well, you should just leave him. That's what you came to the internet for. You don't call this man unlucky. It, it's so much contradiction. He's he's a good guy. He has good intentions. He has a great job. He's broke. He's a homeowner. He's taking care of his debt. He's it. Like, what? You came on here just to drag him. That's the only thing that you brought this to the internet for. Not for anything else, not for advice, not for nothing. You talk to one friend, I'm sure you could have phoned another. This is tough. It's really tough because it's just really tough. Because his personality really is that good. He really is that great of a person. And it, it's not even about the SEX. Like, it's not even about that. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I do want to give it a few more months. Sometimes I do feel, though, like if I have, if I keep, because we already have had a conversation about finances, but if I continue to have a conversation about his finances, it gets to the point with him that I feel like I'm nagging. You know what I'm saying? Because if I keep saying it over and over and over and over again, but it's only been like two weeks, what can he really do in two weeks? That's why I, the one homegirl that I do have, I told her, like, I have to give it a few months, like, because I already got fed up with it, that I know I'm fed up, and I think he realizes I'm fed up. I have to at least give him a few months to figure out the situation, but I don't know. That's why I came on TikTok to, like, just talk about it a little bit, because... I don't really have a lot of people I can talk to about it, so I'm just like, whatever, bro. If you came to the internet and told all of us your business, I guarantee that when you go to work, you're talking to all your coworkers and telling them all your business too. I mean, that's not that's a no-brainer. <laughs> like, that's not even rocket science. That's something that you absolutely do. And then what what really gets me is that you're saying all these things about this man and how you know he doesn't have this and he doesn't have that and you don't understand why and you know maybe he can't give it together and you got to give him a couple more months and you nagging him and this and that but his personality this is okay you see if you're in a space that you and the person that you are dating are not aligning looking at things like oh you know he got a really nice personality is the most ignorant don't make sense foolish thing you could say i'm just I'm, I'm being honest with you okay you got me constantly scratching my head because it stressed me out i'm being honest with you where's the logic the logic that you have talking about well he needs to do this and this he needs to do that and that if you don't want to be with this man instead of giving him any more turmoil instead of humiliating him publicly on the internet instead of dragging his name to your home girl and to whoever else you know all of us on the internet that you're dragging him to, why don't you set that man free?